Hi guys, welcome back. This is a video in response to one of my previous videos where we went over how to use Excel macros to insert a new row. Now, a lot of people have again requested some other tutorials which I thought I would quickly make. What people have been requesting is a, a tutorial on how to, when you insert a new row, also add formulas in. So the previous video would have simply just inserted a new row with a little bit of formatting. What we're going to go over in this one is an addition where we explain how to also include formulas into the newly created rows. So I've created a very simple example. What you can see on the left hand side is just a number of costs that then total up to a number. Okay, now it doesn't really matter how complex your formula is. If your formula works, you can add that formula in it's, and it's actually very simple. So for instance, you can see this total just sums these four cells to create a total. And if I press my command button, okay, I get a total of zero automatically. Now if I quickly tally these cells up, you can see it automatically counts them to a total of four. So again, this is just for explanation purposes. The principle is the same. It doesn't matter how complex your formula is. The only important thing is that your formula works. So to do this, again, it's just a simple addition to the code at the end. So to do this, we're going to go into our design mode and we're going to double click our command button. So this inserts the row. This is the new code here. It has to come afterwards because you can't insert the formula before the new row is created. This is essentially step-by-step -step in chronological actions. So what does our code do? First of all, it selects the cell where we are going to insert the formula in. So first of all, if you want to have more than one formula inserted into more than one cell, you would have to do this whole thing more than once. Okay, on our example, it's just one addition to one cell. So first of all, we select sheet one and range E4. So like we go back and see, E4, E4 is where our formula is inserted. Okay, then once you've selected that, so you will need to change this cell value if you want a different cell. Uh, if you look at my last video, we explain how to do that as well. What you then do is tell that macro what to, what formula to place inside that cell. So for us, in this example, it's equal sum A4 to D4. Okay. Your formula will need to be inserted into that area between the hyphens. Obviously, you won't be using the same formula as me. Okay, so those are the two changes that you may need to make. And remember, if you have more than one formula you want to insert into that row, just essentially insert this twice. So if I copy, paste that there, I would then again modify this. Maybe I'm putting something in D4, and maybe I'm um, adding D2 to D3. I don't know what your examples are. Okay, but that's how you insert the formulas in there. Very simple. You shouldn't really have many problems with this. Okay, any questions, post them in the comments. We'll see what we can do. Thanks, guys. See you next time.